They look really dark. That looks better, I think. What do we think? This new background. I think it's cute. I really like it. I feel like I'm really close. To the camera let's get on to what this video is about it is like 9 50 a.m no school today woke up late it was great to sleep in and i received these smashbox camera ready bb waters straight up with you guys these were sent to me for free i did not pay for these so this is bb water which i believe is a lighter version of bb cream which is really good for me right now because since school started, I haven't been wearing foundation. I've been not liking the feeling of being able to feel my makeup on me. So I'm looking more for foundations that are full coverage and look like skin, but you can't feel. This is, like I said, the Smashbox Baby Water, and this has an SPF of 30, and this is in the shade Light Neutral. So what this is, it looks like this, and it's a pump, so you pump it a few times to get the product into the tube. And then it comes out here on this glass, like, dripper, dispenser, pipette sort of thing. For this first impression, I will be applying a primer to half of my face so we can see what it works best with. This is the Nivea Men's After Shave, and I'm just going to be putting this onto the left side of my face. So I already pumped the product in the pipette glass thing. It's very runny and I'm just gonna apply this with a beauty blender and I'm just gonna put this on my face as one normally would. Um, my very first thought was that I would need more product but it's actually dispersing a lot and a little bit goes a pretty long way even with the sponge which is a lot because normally if I use a brush with this one like a brush could take all of this for my whole face but a sponge really absorbs a lot of the product but it is being distributed really really nicely I like so far that it still looks a lot like skin. Um, I can still see all my freckles underneath, which I now have, and I really like my freckles, so I like that. I have a little breakout coming because I fell asleep on my makeup last night. I was too scared to get up and turn the lights off and take off my makeup into the dark hallway because I saw the visit. You know, don't really want to go there. One time I told that to a MAC makeup artist. I don't know why I told MAC makeup artist that I fell asleep in my makeup one time, but I did for whatever reason. She's like, she literally acted like I just told her that World War III started. She's like, oh my. So this is it after it's on. In terms of matching, I think that it does match me pretty well. I'm also impressed. It's pretty luminous, which is nice. I am going to apply a little bit more makeup. Well, I'll do that on camera so you guys know exactly what I do. For concealer, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of NW20 um, Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. Um, I'm going to put just a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to go a little bit on the chin too. And then I'm just setting my under eyes with translucent powder and around my smile lines because no matter what is there, I will always crease there. And then just to finish up the face, I'm going to take a little tiny bit of Hula Bronzer, pop this right here, and then take a little bit of Stereo Rose Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This is nice and luminous. So that is my face for the day. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be going to the mall, and then I don't really have any plans for today. My initial first reaction is that it feels a lot like skin. It's really a beautiful finish. It doesn't look too oily it doesn't look too glowy i think it's a really healthy balance i like it it doesn't look like i'm wearing foundation which is really really nice but it doesn't look like i'm wearing anything other than i just have like a naturally flawless complexion but i'll check in with you guys throughout the day and let you guys know what i think hello so it is 12 59 basically one o'clock which is three hours after i put this on basically all i did was i went to the mall to get a new bag which i'll show you guys in a minute and then i also went out to breakfast and now i'm actually getting ready to go to another mall with my mom to look at a few workout clothes and then after that i'm going to get the new bag that i got monogrammed um what i think mostly is that my under eye concealer is failing me today but that is not the point um 
When I was straightening my hair, I realized that I did have a lot of creasing around my mouth. But again, that happens with everything, so I can't really blame the BB water. In terms of feeling, it still feels like skin. I can't feel makeup on me. And um, it's holding out really, really well. I'm pretty happy with it so far. But I'll quickly show you guys the bag that I got. It's this. It is a... Longchamp Le Pliage, I think it's what it's called. And this is the large version. And I got this because I wanted it for, you know, rushing next year, which is crazy that I'm already thinking about that because I didn't even get acceptance heading college as yet. But yeah, that's the bag. And yeah, I'll check with you guys in a bit. Ah, oh, back in the same place. I'm only standing here in the same place because um, the lighting is good in my room and I've been in my room all day doing stuff. It's 5.13, which means it's four hours later. Um, to catch you guys up, I went outside to an outlet mall and then I came home and I've been doing college apps for about two hours now. How is everything holding up? Well, it feels nice. I mean, I was just resting on it like this and I have like no makeup on my hand or anything like that. To me, it just feels like skin. But I was thinking in the car, like that poses a new question. Like if it looks like skin, if it feels like skin, why would I even put the product down to begin with? Because it's just excess product. But yeah, I don't really feel like it's fading away too much. Um, I also feel like the smile line aren't there anymore they either wiped away or my foundation just settled in place but yeah everything else looks really good I'm really happy with it and I'm holding the camera really really close to me sorry about that but um yeah I'll check in with you guys probably on my final review um, but other than that I'm just gonna clean up my room because it is a mess right now and I have a bunch of clothes they came in today and I went shopping so I have to put a lot of stuff away and then I'll just be going to the gym later. So you guys will be seeing me after the gym. I'm going to work out in this because I want to test it. So I'm going to go to the gym and then I'll update you guys tonight right before I'm about to take my makeup off. Okay, welcome back. It is, where's my phone? Oh, it is 9.54 p.m. Overall, it lasted through a workout, through a spin class, may I say. It did. It lasted through my spin class. So that's pretty crazy. Like around the edges, it's a little bit deteriorated from the sweat. So I definitely would say that I tested this product to its absolute limit today. I'm very impressed by this product. I'm just going to touch on what I said a little bit earlier, and it's that if it's so lightweight and if it's so you know, invisible, why even bother putting on another layer of makeup, which is something that I'm now beginning to wonder when it comes to, you know, super lightweight makeup. And the answer is it just evens out your skin just a little bit to where it looks natural and flawless. As opposed to primer versus non-primer, I'm going to have to say the primer side looks a little bit better. But I wouldn't say like, oh, you can't use this product without a primer because you totally can. Overall, I'm going to give this product a 9 out of 10 stars. The only reason it doesn't get that, you know, extra 10 stars is because it is so lightweight that you could completely go without it. And it probably wouldn't make that big of a difference. For me, it really just helps even out my face to my neck because my face is always just a little Little bit lighter than the rest of my body. I have decided, however, that I'm no longer going to make first impression videos on YouTube. I'm going to do them on my Snapchat because I think that's a much better idea and it's very live update with you guys. Um, so from now on, like I really liked making this video. I loved making it, but I'm totally going to do them all the time now on my Snapchat. So if you guys want to follow my Snapchat, it's MacUp101. I don't know how to change the name or else I would, but it's MacUp101, which if you guys are OG, that was like my old username. If you guys try out the Smashbox Beauty Water, let me know by tweeting it to me or Instagram it to me. I definitely want to see. Um, but overall, I like I said, I do recommend this product. I think it's great. All right, guys, so that is all for this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in the comments what videos you guys want to see. I read in my Tumblr questions a few days ago, and someone said that they wanted to see more lifestyle videos so if you guys want that let me know in the comments and let me know what lifestyle videos you want to see because I kind of moved away from lifestyle and more towards makeup but if you guys want to see a good variety mix of makeup and lifestyle let me know in the comments and I can totally do that for you guys. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!